right, hello everyone. Um, today we're taking a look at a budget beast hunter deck. Now, um, now the inspiration for this deck came from a few different places. Um, uh, number one, I had been seeing this quite a bit on the ladder. Um, you know, when you're not getting stomped by Demon Hunter, um, you do see quite a lot of Hunter, um, whether it's Quest Hunter or uh, Beast Hunter in this case. Um, and I found that uh, Beast Hunter actually doesn't run a whole lot of Legendaries. It runs two uh, Legendaries, and then it also runs King Crush, which is the third Legendary, but that one is in the core set. Uh, that would be this. Oh, whoops. That would be that guy right there. This guy. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so you already kind of get him for free. So I was like, you know what? There's definitely a way to make this deck a budget deck. So, um, so as you can see on your screen with all these different cards, um, a lot of it comes down to just having an effective play each turn. Uh, like for example, Iron Deep Trog and Vicious Slither Spear are two very good, um, early game one drops. And then, uh, you know, you have Doggy Biscuit to capitalize on if you have a creature alive on turn two. Um, you know, otherwise you can try to drop your Selective Breeder or your Quick Shot to take care of one of your enemy opponent threats. Um, you know, and it just kind of goes from there. Um, you know, the, the main gist of this deck is just kind of, it really brings the spirit of mid-range Hunter um, to the current meta where you kind of have efficient plays each and every turn and then when it gets down to it you just turn the corner and then all of a sudden you become the aggressive one and um and you know and the only thing that i changed this from hs replay um i had um i had seen this deck i looked it up just now it has beast stalker tavish in uh instead of these high mains it has one beast stalker tavish and then it also has a Hydralodon. So, um, so yeah, so another big beast and then another like infinite value machine, uh, pretty much. Um, so yeah, so I was like, you know what? We can replace that with some high mains. Um, they do muddle the beast pool a little bit, but it's also nice sometimes to just have another big beast um, in the deck um, instead of just the mountain bears and the king crush. Um, so, you know, so that's what I settled on to adding into the deck. Um, and then, yeah, so then after that, we just literally have rares, commons, and King Crush, which is in the core set, like I said. Um, so you get him entirely for free. So, yeah, um, I figure I'll go ahead and play a game or two um, just to kind of show you guys how the deck works. Um, so let's go do that. But, uh, but as you can see, I'm not even that high level. I'm just in uh, Silver 9 right now. Um, so I do have quite a lot of leveling up to do, but, um, but yeah, I just figured I'll show you how the deck works. So, um, so yeah, in general, you just kind of, uh, like I say, you want to play your cards, you want to, um, kind of gain a board presence, Tavis! and then you just kind of pressure your opponent. Jane! So, uh, so yeah, this will be good. is not always the answer. I'll make my own fortune. Alright, uh, Barb Nets, uh, is probably useless against Mage, um, and this is Ping Mage, but even then it's pretty situational. Um, I like the Breeder though, early game, um, cause it'll let me decide, like, what beast to have. Um, ooh, we could coin Breeder and then try to go for the Doggy Biscuit, uh, kind of pressure play, I like that. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna try that. I smell an ambush. I smell an ambush. All right. Um. Let's see. So we're going into turn two. Assuming we get to go doggy biscuit, doggy biscuit, that would leave us on turn four. Um. I highly doubt we're gonna have anything to rush into. But I still think Stormpike uh, Battle Ram to give us uh, an extra choice on what to do on turn four is really good. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and ping me there. That's fine. You can just play the doggy biscuit. Circle round. There we go. Just kind of get an early game three five on the field. Just start smacking the mage. I have things you never knew you wanted. Um, 
does doggy biscuit give rush does it give a minion two three no it does not it gives you, it gives your minion rush if you trade it okay all right i think we play the trog and then the doggy biscuit on that and then just kind of soften up his creature um i mean well we didn't have to soften up his creature we could have just hit face and then wait for the storm pike battle ram to come down. I mean, that way I can lose my creature. Okay, to Psycho Man, that kind of sucks. But, I mean, you know, uh, ooh, there we go. We got another, got a, got a Trog, and then uh, it traded with the creature. So, I mean, it's okay, I think, at the moment. Um, so, we got a Sharn Saber. So, do we want to play that or the Stormpike Battle Ram? I think... We probably want to play the Ashar and Saber because even if this dies, it doesn't really open up any plays with its uh, text. There, your next beast costs two less. So, I think we'll just go ahead and play the Ashar and Saber there and swing face with my Trog. Um, as you can see, we're putting a little my bit of pressure on. Okay. That's fine. Um. My blood boils for war. There we go. We get the benefit of our creatures dying. Uh, so go ahead and clear his stuff as well. Um, so I mean, yeah, as you can see, we already made King Crush cost seven mana, which is just insane. Um, and if we can further discount no it, that would be crazy. Oh, okay, so you just drew a 7-cost spell. Um, the only one I can think of worth running is uh, Flame Strike for Mage. So he probably has a Flame Strike. Um, yeah, and that would make a sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if we're gonna get Flame Struck, I probably don't want to play Pet Collector this turn. Cost 5 or less. So... Um, well, I mean, we're looking at pulling a Stormpike Battle Ram or a Asharan Saber anyway. Mm. So maybe we do do that. You are so cute! Yes, you are! There we go. Because it's something we can just play right away. And then I'm not going to overcommit here. Because um, he does have the Flame Strike. So, I mean, if this is what he kills with this Flame Strike, that's fine. Um, and then we just probably answer with the King Crush, just hitting him in the face, and hoping to put a decent amount of pressure on. Um, this is kind of a tricky one, though. Um, you know, Mage tends to build towards a defensive, um, kind of spell-based style lately. Um, yeah, there we go. Flame Strike. Well, I mean, if they're not mechs, of course. Mechs is a very different, um... Uh, different type of mage. You could just straight up play King Crush here. King Crush hero power and just put like max pressure on him this turn. Yeah, I think we do that. There we go. So now he's down to 14. And I mean, anything short of a polymorph, like even if he kills this somehow, we do have revive pet. Um, that can bring back this big dude, Blizzard. Okay, not a fan of that. Okay, can select. Okay. Okay. Harpoon gun. That's all hot. Sunken Saber, summon a beast from your deck. Um, I think I like that. Revive Pet, though, could also give us lethal, actually, if he kills our uh, King Crush. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with Revive Pet, because we already have King Crush out in the field. So it's not too much of a stretch to say, like, hey. My blood boils from war. You know? Like, it's not too much of a stretch to be like, hey, you know, we might be able to revive King Crush for three mana and just have him swing face. Okay. 
Actually, I think that's lethal if that's all he does. Because then we can just swing face with harpoon gun and uh, do our five pack king crush. Oh, but wait, he's not dead that though, so never mind. Never mind, he would have to die first. Which, can we kill him with the barbed nets? Oh no, to an enemy. Nets again, just to kind of try to scrape enough damage to just be able to kill him. I think that's smart. There we go, clear out in bird just in case. I mean, I'm not sure what it would do, but just in case. Okay, great sage parrot. You're gonna play another blizzard. That kills off King Crush actually, so now I can. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Oh, but actually, I think that's enough still. Yeah, King Crush. There we go. King Crush, Hero Power, Barb Nets for the lethal. Well played. Well played. So, as you can see. Yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, the celebration got a little bit loud there. Didn't expect it to like be like, Woo! <laughs> you know. But uh, but yeah, as you can see, um, that that was just absolutely brutal. You know, it felt like we were really uh, one step ahead of our opponent the whole second half of that game. Um, the video is already around 12 minutes, so uh, so I'm just gonna leave you with one game today. But uh, but you know, if you would like to see me play more uh, Beast Hunter. Uh, specifically even with the full dust version, maybe, um, I would have to craft that big legendary, um, that I showed you earlier, the Hydralodon or whatever. <clears throat> you know, I would have to craft him in order to play the full, full dust version, but, uh, but yeah, but let me know what you guys would like to see, and, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. <laughs>